Hi, welcome to RC Pylon TV. I'm Don Stigall, and today's video is about building a Miss Cosmic Wind EF1 fuselage. I have all the parts laid out for the most part. Um, I've taken a picture that appeared at the start of the video that you can refer back to the position of the parts. I find it very convenient to lay out the parts near where they go so it's easy to um, put things together. I've snapped one together and this is what it looks like. It's a good looking airplane. It's not rounded on the, the decking and it's just taped together, but it let me figure out how all the pieces fit together. So it was very instructive for that. I was going to deconstruct this one for the video, but I think I know how to assemble it in a way that um, will make sense and um, without having to go through the taking it apart. So I'm going to get started. For the first part of the video, I'm going to build the forward fuselage plywood crutch. There are sides that tab lock with the bottom of the fuselage and I don't need those right now and there are sides that glue to the framework and they also have a crutch to form the rear shape of the fuselage and with it tab locking together it should be very easy to build a straight fuselage. I haven't punched out all the little tab locks on these sides yet. But I'm going to get those parts out of the way because I don't need them. And I'm also going to get these parts out of the way because this is what I need. This could be considered one of the main parts. The sides have a right and a left on them because there is uh, right thrust in the firewall. One of the original ones didn't have that, but uh, Dan Kane and a lot of other people have found out that uh, having some right thrust really helps the performance of the airplane. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the former that goes in here and I'm going to actually I did that wrong what I'm going to do is take the tray for the battery that fits like so and I'm going to take the other side First thing I want to do is take the firewall and position it on this tray. The firewall is in two pieces and I'm actually going to epoxy it.
It looks like I need to do a little bit of trimming, which is not unusual with a tablock kit. When they're laser cutting, there's kerf. That's where the laser actually cuts part of the space away. And the designers have to allow for the kerf. And sometimes that means that parts are just a little snug or just a little loose. So you have to be adaptable. I have to take my glasses off so I can see what I need to do here. The tabs on the front of the battery hat battery tray need to be cut down a little bit. We'll probably correct this in the kit in future cuttings of the kit so you don't have to deal with this. Now the firewall fits on just fine. The next pieces are marked right and left as well. They go into the firewall and you don't want to insert them all the way because you've got to fit a former in there. Let me get the other side, the, the left side, and put it in. And now I'm going to take the former that fits in here and it has matching slots for the And there we already have something that we could potentially glue together, except one problem. When I was putting it back together, I put it upside down and the thrust is wrong. So make sure you keep your orientation while you're working or else things don't fit together too well. When you get this down to where you can get the tabs in, just simply insert the tabs and then get your tabs from the bottom structure in. 
So we already have this together. Our thrust looks right. We have a hole for the motor. We have a hole for the motor wires and a hole to go down to an ESC under the battery tray. And now we can take the landing gear support sides and the landing gear support goes in just like this and it jigs itself and what I'm going to do is put just a little bit of tape on here to hold things in place And before I put the other side on, I'm going to go ahead and get the former that goes in here situated. And to do that, I have to put the landing gear plate in position. And I want to glue that down to the bottom. So what's going to happen is after I get this portion glued together, I'm going to put this side on and then we'll get the firewall into the notch for the firewall and I'll tape it together and then I'll start CAing but before I do that I'm going to mix up some slow curing epoxy it has a 50 minute pot life and about a four hour thin film working time so I can go ahead and glue the firewall and glue the landing gear doubler to the bottom and then I'll CA everything else together. I had to stop and I'm restarting because I found what looks to be a minor flaw in a piece unless I just don't understand uh, how it's supposed to go. But I actually have two different versions of the Miss Cosmic Wind and the piece on the newer one it's not like the piece on the old one that I had assembled and uh, I may find out from Dan Kane that I have it wrong but anyway um, I'm going to restart with where I was here um, putting on the side If I have the wrong side, I need the right side because the thrust isn't in the right place. So I can just stick that right there and I'm going to tape it in place while I get everything else. Together.
What I'm going to do now is fit this former into the side. And while that's like that, well, Actually, what I'm going to do is add a piece of tape right here because this will help me tremendously in getting this together. And nothing gets glued over that. And I'm going to take the piece of the tray that fits into here and I'm going to take one of the sides And that actually goes on the side here, and the notches let's do it a different way. Let's fit this first. What I'm going to do is take that in place. And now I'm going to work on getting this in place and getting the first piece of the landing gear block in place. And then I'll fit it into the former. and snap this side back in place. I'll let a couple of pieces pop out. I need to get back into place.
And now I just need to snap on the other side. And I found it's a good idea to tape across this. To hold it in place. Sorry, let it slip. What I need to do is go ahead and get this other side on. Let's take that down. More tape here. I'm going to tape it here just so that former doesn't pop out. Okay, and the firewall is not restrained by the sides at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick one more piece in. And that's the top of the cow support get it flush with the outside and just to be sure it stays flush what I'm gonna do is there's a little gap and I'm gonna put some tape there to keep it lined up And we're not quite ready to start gluing yet because the radio tray needs to be put in and the former 
that goes in this area. There was a little area right here that extended into the area where the rear crutch fits. Uh, we'll probably correct that in the kit, but you may have to make a little cut uh, right there or else in your crutch. So the crutch now just slides right into here for the radio tray. And then you put it in the tab in the radio tray. And now we have the radio tray in place. We're ready to mount the firewall. What I'm gonna do is add some tape back here. Hold everything together. But it's so self jigging that it's hard to not build it straight. And you don't really have a surface that you can put it on, but I can tell you there's very little twist. So now what I'm going to do is mix up my slow curing epoxy. I'm going to get my CA ready. And for my CA, I use Bob Smith. And I use these applicators. I use Bob Smith CA and for my thin, I put a piece of blue tape. So I'll remember that that's my thin. And I have another one for my medium. Actually, I opened the wrong one. Well, everything looks right. All the pieces are in place. I'm going to mix up a batch of epoxy, West 105 resin with 209 hardener. I took the front or the I took I took the firewall piece off that was on the front just so I have easier access to brush on some epoxy. And I'm putting this on very, very light because there's not much of a gap 
and I don't want it getting into the holes where I'm going to CA the other parts. So very careful about that and now stick it together with the F in front obviously and I'm going to stick it back on This is why I like doing the going while I'm putting the pieces together because I didn't get it aligned exactly. Now the firewall is in place and I'm going to put some epoxy where the firewall joins. I'm going to put some epoxy on the tabs. Now, I'm just going to pull it together. And wipe off the excess epoxy. And I'm going to tape this together and then before I start going I'm going to inspect carefully to make sure that everything's where it belongs like that piece that slipped up on me. That's why I was talking about it slipping. <clears throat> With this epoxy, I have plenty of time to mount the bottom landing gear plate. So what I'm going to do is hold it in some strategic spots
I love the smell of CA. Some people have a problem with it, but I love to know it's kicking off. Now I'm going to go up back here. I'm going to take this tape off so I can see this piece well while on it. Is this piece will still move. Now I'm going to glue these side pieces together. And I'm going to glue myself to the airplane.
that's a whole lot of CA, and even that got to me a little bit. Well, I should be able to take the tape off of this middle area now. And the reason for that is while my epoxy is still usable, I'm going to put the landing gear doubler in. With the epoxy. This is not needed anymore. I haven't used any medium yet. There aren't that many gaps. I will come back with some medium after everything's cured. But the thing I'm going to do right now is put the landing gear doubler piece in. I want to double check and make sure it fits and it's going to go right in. So now I'm going to take some epoxy. I'll be liberal with this because it needs to hold up for the landing gear. And I'm going to use a technique my father taught me about gluing wood parts together. Put glue on both sides of the part, and you're more likely to get a 
good bond. It adds just a tiny bit of weight, but probably well less than a gram. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and take care of one other thing. That is the pieces that go from the cow ring to the firewall and because this is plywood to plywood. So I'm going to put a little epoxy in here, put some on the front pieces. Push them down well. And then I'm just going to CA them in place. And that concludes my first session on building the Miss Cosmic Wind. I'm going to let it cure upside down and I'm going to use a little bit of flange protector just to make sure nothing sticks to my wood here. And I'm going to go out and fly a quad and I'm going to go mow some yard. And one thing I'm going to do while I'm thinking about it so I'm going to go ahead and add some more CA right here. back in here and I will clean this with acetone so that I can reuse it. It's a good idea
It's a good idea when you're doing epoxy work or CA work that you have acetone available and a poly cup. Acetone will eat through a plastic cup. So what I'm going to do is just suck in the acetone and blow it out. Make sure you fully fill the, the bulb up or there will be resulting S, uh, CA in there. So it's completely full. Just squirt it out. Pour out your CA, don't let your animals get it. I have a can where I put used CA in a can for used black or thinner. So after I get done wrapping up here, I'll take care of that. The Miss Cosmic Wind will be available in the next few weeks. I will be making molds for the cow and the hatch and I'm going to add the three degrees of right thrust to the cow ring so it matches up nicely. Uh, it's one reason I wanted to go ahead and get this fuselage built ahead of the Estralita fuselage. I'm also working on Estralita and Shark EF1 molds. And Seagull Hobbies will be selling the Miss Cosmic Wind EF1, the Estralita EF1, and the Shark EF1 at the minimum. We may add additional kits, uh, may reissue the Outrageous and the Scarlet Screamer, and I'm going to seek approval for a uh, traditional Cassette uh, Hershey Bar wing airplane using the same fuselage as the Outrageous. There's a little plane called In a Rush that I like. And I want to have a low aspect ratio wing cassette to be able to see how it does. So, thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to RC Pylon TV. I'm in a good mood now, especially that I'm feeling better. And I hope you'll subscribe to RC Pylon TV and DonStigall.com. And uh, stay tuned for lots more pylon related videos. I'll be doing everything from little electrics up to giant scale. And um, looking forward to having a lot more fun with RC.